Well hello and welcome to the A82 just north of Loch Lomond and every single time I'm on this road it just fills me full of excitement of what's to come in terms of photography. Um, there are actually a bunch of sort of gnarly trees and just lovely just that Scottish light. It always seems to be this road that just gets me going so yeah we're heading on up into um, sort of Tindrum area and already I'm salivating at the thoughts of getting the camera out. I'm rolling on the A82. So parked up at Glen Lockie. Another one of those little scouting missions I reckon. So just gonna have a bit of a wander around and just see whether there's anything about. Very little autumnal colour at the moment um, and very little in the way of light. It was reasonably nice about an hour ago but just gonna have a little bit of a much around is this is a road that um, I we sometimes take so I quite often will be back here uh, a little bit of light coming out so we'll go for a little bit of a scouting mission nothing much really going on a um, couple of potentials but again just no real autumnal color but always good to come somewhere if only to kind of tick it off from a not much potential point of view especially as this is an area that we will pass through um, quite often when we're on our way to Mull and places like that, so good to do it from a ticking off point of view, but nothing much. So just driving along the road to um, Glennant Nature Reserve and a little stop off point that we use quite often for good 4G connectivity. I just had a little bit of work to do and of course slipped down through a little pathway and you discover this. Now I was originally planning on doing a long exposure type shot here but I actually think there's a potential for maybe a little bit of a panorama. So that's what I'm going to get set up. XT1 18 to 135 bit of panorama action. So I think one of the things I've talked about quite a few times before is trying to kind of almost come up with little storylines when I'm working amongst kind of trees and across the lock there's two different types of tree and then on the left hand side of the frame a little miniature so almost either the odd family or maybe the, the male tree saying is it mine? Anyway we'll see whether we can shoot it again on the XT1 with the 18 to 135. So first little scene that I've come across and sort of what drew my eye was well obviously the path but now the light is sort of coming through a little bit but there just seems to be just a little bit of light up against one of the sort of trees and perhaps the path kind of twists similarly to how the the trunk of the tree is is twisting I don't know a little bit of autumnal color coming through not a huge amount Ideally what I'd like to see is a little bit of a tunnel colour holding on with maybe a little bit of heather. I'm not sure whether there's any heather in here but we'll we'll keep looking. So first little scene. Not sure I'm gonna get the big camera out, I might just grab something on the iPhone, but love this place. So I've come across a little scene here that I really like. Now what's to my advantage is there's a, a little natural footpath that has been trodden through, whether by human or by wildlife. And of course what's that that's meant is that a lot of those ferns have kind of died off or in the process of dying off so it actually brings a little bit of amber a little bit of a tumnal ish color to the scene and of course in the distance we have some mountains and a little bit of cloud flowing over the top now i'm shooting handheld um on the 18 to 135 with the xt1 um and because i'm shooting handheld with one frame kind of underexposing just so I can leave some detail in the sky. Watch to my advantage is there is actually some direct sunlight um, on these ferns in the foreground so even though I am underexposing there's still plenty of detail being maintained here on these ferns. But yeah I absolutely love it in this place. I could spend a couple of days and I would love to get back here later in the trip when 
the autumn colors really start to come in but I don't think that's going to be possible so making the most of it so again it's all about the shapes this little tree here the bend in it and the fact that there is just some specular light coming through again just trying to kind of almost create characters with the trees and I know this has been spoken about before not just by myself but by other photographers who frequent the woods um, and it is a way to kind of in my mind at least to start to perhaps make some order from the chaos as I say I still find this type of photography so so difficult and by interpreting some kind of story overlaid across it sometimes helps me to form a composition now one of the problems I have is the sun has come out quite a lot now so that kind of moody sort of misty sort of light has sadly gone but I'll carry on wandering so that sun is now in full effect which is kind of ruining the mood somewhat there is actually still a little bit of purple colour hanging on which does work well with some of the slight turn with the autumn colours but we now have blue skies and ice cream weather going on God bless you Scotland kind of have wandered out about a mile and a half along the the ant trail it's called it's a two and a half mile track the last probably mile is on a access road kind of bridleway type thing so I kind of turned on my heels there and I'm retracing my steps back to the van but may not be taking too many images due to the very bright conditions which is unfortunate still though a gorgeous place to come and just I mean no problem whatsoever I could spend several days in here in the right conditions heck even in not the right conditions just getting my eye used to the place just just beautiful so again it's probably two things that this little scene I'm back to this scene that I was shooting before two little things that this scene teaches us number one the art of seeing an image before there's good light so would I have thought this was as nice an image to take now I haven't seen it uh, obviously back on the computer it might still not be a nice image but would I have thought it would have been something worth shooting if first of all the light hadn't have been illuminating these ferns here and also the peak in the distance um, it's now completely clear less dramatic looking um, and of course the second lesson is you know this isn't an image anymore just because the light isn't there I guess maybe they're the same lesson in one but hopefully you get my drift right well now it's no longer sunny just very overcast so I think I'm gonna make my way back to the van and then we're heading down into open but I love this place catch up again soon Thank you.